solving literal equations. You've been solving literal equations for quite some time now. Most of the time that you've been doing this, you've been doing it for equations that are have one variable. We're going to start solving equations that have more than one variable. We're still solving for one variable, but there will be more than one letter in the equation. So our first example is we're going to solve for b in the equation 3b plus 6a equals 9. To help us with this, we're going to do a related problem, which I'm going to call a note over here, in which we solve the equation 3b plus 6 equals 9. We're very familiar with these types of problems, and we know that the first step here is going to be to subtract 6 on both sides. That gets me 3b equals 3. Now, in the equation we're trying to solve, I don't have a 6. I have a 6a. But that doesn't matter that much because I can still subtract 6a on both sides. And this gives me 3b equals. Now, in our related equation, I can find what 9 minus 6 is. I know these numbers. They're like terms. It equals 3. In the equation we're trying to solve, however, I don't know what a is, which means I don't really know what negative 6a is. So I'm going to leave it as 9 minus 6a. In our related equation, our next step is going to be to undo the multiplication. And I do that by dividing. I get b equals 1. In the equation we're trying to solve, I have that same variable. I'm still trying to solve for b. I have the same operation happening, 3 times b, 3 times b. So I'm going to divide by 3. In our related equation, however, we only had one term on the right-hand side. In the equation we're trying to solve, I have 2, the 9 and the minus 6a. So I actually have to divide both of those terms by 3. That gets me b equals 9 divided by 3 and negative 6a divided by 3. The second equation, the second example we're going to do is we're going to solve for x in the equation 3 times x minus y all over 4 equals 15. In this equation, um, I'm not going to do a related side problem, and that's because the related side problem was done in the video named set 4.1. So the first thing I'm going to do is exactly what I did in that video, which is I'm going to get rid of this 4. The line here means divide by 4. So to undo the dividing, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. This gets me 3 times x minus y equals 60. The multiplying by 4 undoes the division by 4, and so those cancel each other out. They're inverses of each other. Just like in the video for the set of 4.1, I'm going to divide both sides by 3 here. Now, I could distribute the 3 to the x and the y. However, since I'm trying to get x alone, I want to move more stuff away from it, not add stuff to it. So dividing the right left-hand side by 3 gives me x minus y, and the right-hand side gives me 20. My last step here to get x alone is to add y to both sides. This gets me x equals 20 plus y. And just like in our first example where I don't know what the a is or negative 6a is, and so I can't combine and I write it as 9 minus 6a. That is also true here. 20 and y are not like terms. I don't know what the y is, so I leave it as 20 plus y.